guest is a media mogul, mega producer, and an entrepreneur who has shattered the glass ceiling in the worlds of hip hop and reality TV. She's the brains behind your favorite shows, and today she's here to dish about her latest projects. Please welcome Mona Scott Young. Hey, hey yeah. what's happening, ladies? Hi. What's up? We're so excited to have you. Welcome back to the show. Thank you so much. Always happy to be here. You ladies look incredible. As do you. Yes, yes, now, you've you. been dominating the world of reality TV for well over a decade. And when you first set out to launch Love & Hip Hop New York, I always wonder, like, did you think that it would be as huge of a successful franchise as it's become? It's so funny, whenever I get that question, I always say, if I knew, if I had that formula, I would bottle it, right? right. I don't think any of us ever know. You put it together, you put your heart and soul into it, and you hope for the best. Yeah. But I always talk about that moment when we watched that first cut of the mm. first episode, and I got goosebumps. And I think that's when we all knew that we had something special, mm. and something that hopefully was going to make an impact and the rest is history boy has it okay you have mm -hmm. paved the way and created opportunities for women of color to be in front and center on screen and many of them have gone on to become mega superstars mega. But oh what lord do you thank say? you nani <laughs> <laughs> seriously you put a lot of black people in prime time i'll tell you that much and um because we weren't in prime time for a while what do you say to critics who say mm -hmm. your shows don't represent black women in the best light Oh, jeez. I mean, I listen, you guys have heard me answer this. It's such an age-old question that I keep getting, and I'm hoping at some point that we are allowed to evolve beyond this. Yes. Um, I think the cast yes. has done an amazing job of opening up and sharing their lives. And yeah. I never got the memo. Right? I don't know who this elite group is that makes the decision about who has the right to represent all Black people. This was not what this was ever supposed to be. And I'm hoping in a time when we're fighting to be represented across the board in all of our diversity, that we can get over the fact that we are all not cookie cutter. We're all not cut from one cloth. We're a full range and spectrum of people. And this show was about a specific group, you know, and we've watch them live their lives, we've watched them grow, we've watched them fall, pick themselves up, evolve, right? And I'm hoping that we can give ourselves, each other, the grace to experience that growth. We're yeah. not a monolith. That's, you know, right. it's like, it's different things. Mm -hmm. Just like it, the yes. majority has different people, yeah. the same thing with black people. It's different type of black That's people. Right. That's it. That's Absolutely. right. Absolutely. But I the beauty of say, it is we all make up this colorful, you know, a uh, 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 group that, yeah. that Defines who we are girl. as people. Yep. Yeah. That's exactly right. Sakwa say my Haitian sister. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what's up, Garcia? <laughs> I love it. I love now, it. Now, Mona, with all the success from Love and Hip Hop, would you be interested in expanding to new cities? Uh -huh. Ooh. You know, it's funny because if you guys have been following, we've been doing all of these specials. And what I love about that is it gives the fans an opportunity to see the cast in a different light. It yeah. gives the cast a chance to like experience different things in front of the camera. So what I think we've been doing is really ex expanding upwards, right, with the existing cities. And there's still so many other concepts that are left to explore. Right now, we're only back up with two of our cities, um, Miami and Atlanta. So we still right. have to get Hollywood and New York back up and running. Yeah. So I think that, you know, for now, I want to continue to build on the existing cities to allow the fans to get to know their cast in all the different great settings we're putting them in. And then we'll see what happens from there. Well, you stay producing because you're reuniting with 50 Cent to produce the show Hip Hop Homicides. What yes. stories will the show feature? I mean, it's funny because when the announcement was made, of course, they went with the Biggie Tupac story. Very right. important stories, but I think there have been so many pieces on, yeah. you know, those two murders. And yeah. there are just so many more. It's a damn shame. Mm -hmm. But just countless, countless murders in the space. So our goal is to shine a light on those things, to get boots on the ground with Van Lathan, who is fantastic and passionate on the topic, right. and to really see what the streets are saying. Let's go out there and talk to people and uncover leads, we hope, but really maybe debunk some of the rumors that are out there and get some real answers for the family and loved ones who are still sitting around wondering why exactly their loved ones have been ripped away from them. So right. we just think it's an important project that is going to shine a light on a very sad but important topic. 
Yeah. I love that. Well, this month you actually have a new two-part special coming yeah. out that links up your cast from Love and Hip Hop and also the cast from Black Ink Crew. Yes. Tell us yes. about Lineage to Legacy. I mean, I'm so excited about this because it started out as my own journey. You know, Garcelle, I've always been proudly waving the flag that I am Haitian American. Yeah. And it's always been such a defining point for me. But when I took the African ancestry DNA test and I learned that I am Cameroonian of the Takar people, there was just wow. something about that that just, you know, brought to life a whole nother aspect of who I was that I didn't even know existed. And I wanted to share that experience. I wanted everyone to know what that felt like. And I'd been talking to the cast about it and to VH1. And it was when we combined the cast of Love and Hip Hop with the Black Ink crew, and they were going to take these tests, go on this journey, and then have a tattoo applied that commemorated that experience oh, for them, really cool. that I wow. think the pieces came together. So, so this cool. is an amazing journey, of, a journey of self-discovery, but you know, the cast is funny. They're still their unfiltered selves. <laughs> and I think the audience is really, really gonna enjoy seeing this new side of them as they find out who they truly are. Very important topic, and we actually have a clip. I can't wait to see it. Lineage to legacy, let's take a look. I think it's important in most African cultures to know where you come from. Mm -hmm. Your roots. I can't go past my grandmother. That is crazy. If I introduce myself, for example, as a Kosa woman, I'll say, Dungbusi swa kulu, umali maakwe, umashia maashle. We are born, I can name like quite a long lineage. And that's not unique. It's a sign that you know who you are, but also it's a point of pride. Mm -hmm. And it's a point of respect, you know. You. I'm sorry, I wanted to say that the difference of the test that they do is we're not only telling them where in Africa they're from, yeah. we're telling them what tribe they come from. That's a whole nother level of yeah. self-knowledge. Now, Mona, you're unstoppable. I mean, you, you're you set to expand beyond non-scripted to scripted projects to elevate Black stories. Tell us about your mission, because I think this is fantastic for you. I mean, listen, I am so excited about pushing the company into an entirely new area. And we've been working with some great content creators and script writers, and we actually have, you know, one concept now, don't know if I could talk about it just yet, but in the family, kids and family space, but it's a scripted project. We've got oh. a feature that's coming soon, but it's been all about collaborating and partnering and continuing to tell great stories. So I'm excited to push the company into scripted. Big things happening. That is awesome. That is so great. And you you know, you are carved out such a successful career in hip hop and television. What have you learned when it comes to running a business in a male dominated industry? Um, you know, what I learned is at the end of the day, as much as I like to think of myself as a business person, right? Yeah. I'm still seen as a woman, as a woman of color. Yeah. So I've got to show up and show out every single time I mm. step into the room. I mean, I feel like I'm shoulder to shoulder with my male counterparts, whether it be in, you know, ideation or execution. But there's still this sense that, you know, we are pigeon held and put in a box and I'm constantly pushing my way out of that. And and as much as I don't like to subscribe to that notion, I'm conscious of it, I'm cognizant yeah. of it, but I certainly yeah. don't let it define me, who I am, or what I'm capable of, not for one second of the day. No. Yes, right. and we I thank you for that. We thank you for that. You're such an incredible role model. Now, one of the people that obviously looks up to you is your daughter, <laughs> who is actually following in your footsteps and Aww. putting out uh -huh. music. So she's absolutely beautiful. She is. I was so curious, were you hesitant about her being in the music industry? Especially given like your first hand knowledge of just how brutal this business can be. Right. Well, that would imply that I had a say or a oh. choice. Ah. Okay, <laughs> this thing, I always say that people are like, oh, she's your mini me. And I'm like, no, 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 she's me 2.0. She's smarter, <laughs> funnier, faster, more confident in who she is right now in her life than I ever was at her age outspoken like you wouldn't believe. You know, so I have Hard all the confidence believe. in the world that she's gonna be fine as she navigates it. And listen, you know, you only hope that your kids find their passion early in life mm -hmm. and they, you know, focus in on it so that they can be exactly where they wanna be in their lives. So I'm happy and proud for her, but 
We'll see what happens. But honey, I have zero say in all of that. <laughs> Spoken Jordan like a true Scott mother. Young is not to be messed with. <laughs> okay. I'll bet. It. Now, what advice would you share with people who want to build a successful career in the industry like you have? Um, you know, I just had a conversation yesterday with a young woman looking for me to mentor her. And I was like, you've got to drill down on what it is you're good at, right? Yeah. And what it is you're good at is not always necessarily what it is you want to do in the mm -hmm. long term, mm -hmm. but start there. Start from a place of confidence so that you can over deliver and over execute and use that as a stepping stone. If you're trying to scale a wall to get to the top, you've got to have a foothold. And a lot of times we set our sights on where we want to be without a clear a plan on how we're going to get there. So, you know, crawl, walk, run, but do it with confidence and with the assuredness that you've taken the time to teach yourself or to learn what it is you need to know about whatever it is you're engaged in at that point in time. But how do you no balance business. your lo love life, though, Mona? Because you've been married for a long time and, you know, that work-life family, family, yeah. Listen, I'm still trying to figure that out. I don't even lie and say, oh, I've got it all worked out. That is a constant work in progress. But, you know, you've got to be in it every day and be aware of the fact that you still need to work on it. It's interesting because my husband and I were just talking about that this morning because I've been going nonstop and he practically has to pry the phone out of my hands at night. And that is not healthy. And it's not the greatest way to, you know, conduct your relationship, but it's the reality of where we are at this moment in time Absolutely. with where the company is and everything that we're trying to do. Yeah. But that communication has got to stay open as well. He knows yeah. where my head is. He knows that that's not the intention. And I love that he's like, Ergs, take a minute. You I know, we've that. got to make sure that we're making time for us. So yep. real. That so is real. really real. And I'm glad you didn't sugarcoat it. You just said it like it is. Exactly. Yeah. Um, Mona, thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with us today. Um, now, <sighs> Real Fam, Love & Hip Hop Lineage to Legacy premieres Monday, February 7th, and Monday, February 14th at 9 p.m. Eastern Pacific on VH1. Make sure you check it out. It's yes. going to be so good.